Hi everyone today we are going to talk about what Reddit developers share how programmers of Reddit. What makes you an expert programmer? Want to know how to become a developer without a degree? Check the description below. There is no such thing. As a programmer you must keep learning and keep up with the ever changing world of development. New tools and new technologies are being released all the time. Keep up with them. Learn the technology behind what you are using. How do you quantify it? If you are a C++ developer for 10 years and only know that language, but I'm a C Ash developer for 3 years and now I'm diving into Ruby, Python and Node.js, who's the better programmer? Me or him? I'd say neither. IMHO, a good programmer recognizes this, accepts they will make mistakes, accepts that they should learn all the time, take note of their team, and adapt from that. Anyway, since it's a loaded question, you are probably going to get a few different responses. If you are a C++ developer for 10 years and only know that language, but I'm a C Ash developer for 3 years and now I'm diving into Ruby, Python and Node.js, who's the better programmer? The question wasn't who's better, it was who is an expert. I personally don't think time is the major factor here. I've worked with some programmers that were competent, but not great despite long resumes. For me, I think expert means, you can successfully see a large software project through to completion. If you can sit down and write, by yourself, or while leading others, a big, reliable, usable app, you're an expert in my book. I'm not sure such a thing exists. You can be a professional programmer, which just means you get paid for the programming work you do. You can be experienced and knowledgeable in a particular language and or paradigm, but not necessarily be an expert. For example, I've been writing Java 80% plus of my professional career spanning 10 plus years, and I'm not sure I'd consider myself an expert. I'm very knowledgeable of the language, but there are many many things I'm not familiar with, because I don't use them very often. Very very few people would be considered programming experts, Imo. I might not be an expert programmer, but I know what some expert programmers love. Obsessive learning. Separation of concerns. Design patterns. Source control slash version control. Testing slash TDD. Jokes. Books like The Pragmatic Programmer and Clean Code and Design Patterns. Element of reusable object-oriented software. Stack Overflow and Hacker News and Jithub. Learning another language. Abstractions. Not repeating code. Arguing about conventions. Ensuring the code all looks like it was written by the same developer. Just one style. Arguing about the right os slash id slash language. Clearly this is the best and yours is terrible. Choosing the right tool for the job. Headphones slash silence slash mechanical keyboards. Good familiarity with the command line on their os. More. I don't consider myself an expert by any means, but I do think there are two types of programmers, those whose old code I like working with, and those I don't. You know what the difference is? The former is organized, and the latter is 300 plus lines in one function. Your ability to solve problems is one of the reasons you become an expert programmer. You need to know how to solve a coding problem, and how to structure your program correctly for modularity and scale. Also learn a technology like a language and stick with it. Get the ins and outs of it to where you are comfortable enough to work with it on a day to day basis. I'm no expert. My peers in my lab think I'm an expert. After I swapped out several dozen blocks of logic and replaced it with one state flow diagram. Burnt out grad students and Simulink does not a merry time make. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, Please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.